Hey guys, it's Jordan, and today we're gonna be talking about coming out. I know that a bunch of people have asked me about how I came out, some advice on coming out, and things like that. So we're gonna get with it. For all of you who have any issues or wanna come out, you have to do that in the time that you feel most comfortable. And for me, I have always been a very big, hard-headed person. I wasn't the type of person where I felt the need to come out. I was just like, I'm gonna live my life the way I wanna live it. If I wanna hang out with gay people, I didn't know if I was gay initially. I just started hanging out with gay people and then I found out I was gay and so, when I did, I didn't tell anyone. I didn't feel the need to tell anyone. I just hung out with my friends, dated boys, and I didn't really try to hide it. It's just my parents started asking me, why are you hanging out with gay people? Like, don't you think people are gonna think you're gay? And I was like, I don't care. If I don't even care, why do you care? So eventually, I think that was when they started to realize. I had a cousin on my Facebook who was my friend, and she saw a picture of this my boyfriend at the time and I am kissing and she showed her mom. Well her mom is my aunt, is a big mouth, and she went and told literally everyone in our family like that. She told my grandmother also. I was at the fair with a boy. My grandma gives me a call. I answer the phone. She was like asking me how I was and stuff. It was just so random and she was like, Do you have something to tell me? And I don't think so. Are you sure? And I was like, I'm pretty sure. I think you know what you need to tell me. And like, you need to come out here and talk to me. And well, I'm, I'm busy right now. I'm at the fair. You need to get those pictures of you and him off of your Facebook. Well, grandma, I'm not at a computer right now. I am very stubborn and I didn't like that she thought she could tell me what to do. I called my cousin and told her to take the pictures down. And then while I was on the phone with my grandma, she was like, And I talked to your dad. And he doesn't know what to think. Immediately I was freaking out, so I called my mom and I was like, Mom, my dad knows now and because I had told my mom beforehand and I was really mostly worried about my dad because I love him and I didn't want him to think negatively of me. And our family is just not seen as something like it wasn't ever seen like, oh my gosh, don't be gay. Everyone's supposed to be like Manly and macho. I was nervous. At first, with my dad, he didn't talk to me much about it, and we eventually went and had a dinner. He didn't fully understand it. He still tried to sell the idea of being with a woman to me. At first, he didn't want to have gay people around him and my stepmother. They didn't want to let my friends come over, like let a boy go to eat with us or anything like that. Eventually, I told my grandma, the other grandma, like, if they don't, you know, start accepting me, it was before I was about to leave college, like, I will go away for college because I'm not gonna let anyone take away my happiness. I deserve to be happy, just like everyone gay, straight, or whatever, you deserve to be happy. My grandma talked to them and, you know, eventually they came around and now my dad, he's even closer to me now than before I came out. I think that all parents should be able to get past things, anything about their child. It's not like being gay is the equivalent to being a serial killer or something, you know? At the end of the day, that's why I always tell everyone, you have to live your life for you. You have to do what makes you happy because even if they don't accept it, you have to just be yourself, be strong-minded, be strong-willed, do what you want to do because you're living your life, they're not. And you can't go through your life living for someone else because you won't end up happy. You'll be so sad. Even though I didn't really come out, I guess eventually, I mean, I kind of just didn't care. I felt like I didn't have to come out. Why do I need to tell everyone who I am and what I am? I am myself. I'm not going to change for anyone, so it does. I don't need to make a statement about it. Anyone who has issues or struggles with this, I'm right there with you and I know how it is to have to feel like you're not accepted or loved and eventually it will get better it does get better people always say that it's true it does get better but you have to push you have to motivate you have to do all of that yourself you can't give up you can't be weak because at the end of the day it comes down to you like you have to be strong and if you want something bad enough and want to live your life your way you have to fight for it. Sorry to get so deep on this video, but that is my coming out story, I guess. I just want everyone to know that I love you guys tons. Whether you're gay or straight or bisexual or don't even like sex, I just, I love all of you. And you deserve to be happy. So live your life for you. That's the goal and that is the whole thing I want you to take from this video. It's your life. You don't have another one. Let them live their lives and do what you do. Okay, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I hope that, you know, your day is filled with rainbows, whether they're straight rainbows or gay rainbows.
You can add me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Kick, Snapchat, all of that at the Jordan Gibson is in my crotch box. Just drop it down. Go check me out. Add me. Follow me because we're awesome. I mean, like, yeah. Who wouldn't want to? I mean, let's just do this. Let's do it. I love you so much. I hope you have a great day. Up the 